Pastor Kamale Sode from Kenya. Oh, name Simba Kamale Sode from the Kenya. He cannot squat. He has difficulty raising up and using the right arm. Taso lakusitama. I know Simukumi kano kosom kono kwa dio. You can see the knee brace that he's wearing around this knee. Yes, we should come up with because the knees are so painful for a period of five years. Kwa ngama vivi kama mnyo kaya miyake tano. Because it's not established. Simu kotema ni dua. He too is here for his healing. Na yazaf no kunyesebo akoni. Hey. Time for healing. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus. Be healed. Hey. Be healed. Legs, stretch yourself. What was the reaction in the legs? They've been commanded to stretch. In the name of Jesus. Healing is going on for him. Watch brethren. He's now flexing the knee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I am a pastor from Kenya. My name is Kamale. I always say that there are so many churches around. And God is everywhere. But you've got to meet God somewhere. You've got to meet God at a certain point. And this is the point. Oh, there are so many prophets all around, all over the world. But sometimes there are true prophets like Prophet Kakande. I don't always, I mean, praise people for no reason. But here in Uganda, the Kakande ministry, Jesus works in many Please, prophet, allow me to say this, Not just for two minutes. My wife discovered the Gabriel TV. Even right now, she's watching us live at home. Your wife, I pray for her. But the disturbing headache. That's true, uh, prophet. Sometimes she could put a band, tight it because of the pain. Yes. 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 But now she has a pain here. A very yes. serious. I can confirm. I can confirm. She has pains all over the body. At the back. Sometimes I'm even forced to lift her from the bed in the morning. She's been using so many types of uh, medicine. Why it's not because of uh, financial trade? I would have even... And uh, the medicine she got from the Indians? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> the herbal, I can confirm. <laughs> Your issues are involving church. I'll mention one church, but it has these uh, half bricks, like that. Half bricks. And you wanted to do some projects. That's, that's correct. When you appeared there, you became a threat. <laughs> that, is, that is true. And they all gathered and said he will never do anything here. Yes. So they gathered in prayer against you. That is true. I wanted to do a project, yes. Mm -hmm. They ganged against me because I was sort of a trade in preaching and other things. 
So they saw that maybe I'm not going to stand on their way again. You saw yourself in a dream? Yes, ma'am. Standing near the valley. And you saw the wind? You're right, prophet, it's as if you were with me in the dream. Because you're telling me the truth. When the wind you are telling me came and swept, uh, swept everything, then I found myself standing at the edge of the valley. Something struck me, then I got up. I just wanted to let you know what is going on. Yes, because what is going on is not so easy. Yes. Because the wind came yes. to blow everything. Yes, you are true because all that we had, they meet cars, houses that we built. All gone. Even right now, we are, in a, we are in a rental house. And in fact, if I don't pay about 80,000 shillings before the end of the month, I'll be kicked out. So everything went away with the wind. What about this land near a small hill? We bought it and we sold it. Because of those problems that we had. Yeah, near a small hill, you are right. I can confirm a four-bedroom house. We built it far the, uh, over the length, and then we sold it. There's much to talk about your issues. Yes, because even these white people were withdrawn from you. Here in Rwanda and in the UK. Here in Rwanda and in the UK.